A question that comes up every so often, and it came up again in a recent comment, is whether or not a Filipina will be accepting of a particular expat's religious belief system. Are they flexible or are they ardently Catholic? Now, this is where it's important to understand the difference between the stance and declaration that an entire nation might make versus the individual Filipina you're actually involved in a relationship with. A good example of this difference is regarding the United States, there is a long-standing claim that the United States is basically a Christian nation built on Christian principles. And if you go back to history in the 1700s, you can find some evidence of that. However, it's a misnomer to claim that Americans are Christian, because that's simply not true. Some of them are, many of them are not. The fact that a vast majority of OnlyFans accounts originate in the United States can pretty much tell you that. So if you ask the average Filipino or Filipina about religion, in reference to the country, they will say, oh, well, we are a Catholic nation. Now, again, if you want to look at history, starting from the 1500s when the Spaniards came in and brought Catholicism to the Philippines, that influence and those traditions, many of them carry on through today. In fact, just about every major city and every tiny barangay every year has a tradition with a parade and everything focused around the Santo Nino, the baby Jesus. But again, we're looking at the national big picture. That is the general claim, again, with much history and tradition behind it. But the question that expats have is really focused on the individual Filipina. Is she going to be okay with either my religion or my lack of religion? Now, what I have noticed over the last 11 years is that Filipinas are very accommodating when it comes to adjusting to the belief system that an expat may have. And most expats are over their 40s. They've already decided by this point in their life what they believe and what they don't believe. And what I have seen in the many couples that I have met is that by and large, they are very accommodating to convert, if you will, or at the very least, accommodate the belief system that you happen to have. Now, I know right away, there's going to be some guys listening to this saying, well, I don't have a belief system. I'm an atheist. This seems to be where Filipinas draw the line. They will accommodate and pretty much stay silent about an expat. If the rest of the relationship is working and good, they will accommodate and allow for his atheism, but they will not embrace it. That seems to be where they draw the line. Because deep down, practically 99% of Filipinas, due to their culture, the constant reaffirmation of Catholicism in pretty much every city every year with the holidays and such, at the very core, they could be what are considered deists. They may not necessarily be Catholic as they presume, because the moment you ask them, well, what is the Catholic theology? They really can't articulate it. And if you ask, just like you would ask any American Christian who claims to be a Christian, well, can you explain your faith to me in three simple sentences? Many of them can't do it. They just assume they're a Christian because they're an American. And same thing in the Philippines. It's the default. And this is why they are very open to anyone that is at least agnostic. Now, to be agnostic simply means a man who believes that anything that could be known about any god is just unobtainable. There's no way to really know. They maybe believe there's a god out there, but for all they know, it could be a life force. It's not maybe a person. Maybe it's just a quality of physics, kind of like the force. That would be an example of 
agnosticism, a belief that there's something out there, a higher power, but we can't really know what it is until we die. And Filipinas are totally okay with that because in their mind, it's like, okay, you believe that, you believe that you don't know. Meanwhile, I believe in God and baby Jesus and Virgin Mary and all that. So there's no conflict, no problem there. Same thing if a Filipina meets an expat and he says, well, I'm basically a very committed Baptist. Is that okay with you? Now she'll ask a couple of questions. What's a Baptist? What do you guys believe? And once she's heard this guy's response, I can almost guarantee you she's totally okay with that because it comes down to something that's known as the essentials of the faith. So whether a man is Baptist, Episcopalian, Mormon, Jehovah Witness, as far as a Filipina is concerned, if he believes in God, that's okay with her. Now, this does not address the fact that Mormonism, Jehovah Witness, Christianity, and Catholicism have completely different theologies that actually oppose each other. But they're not concerned with that. They're more concerned with the relationship. And in their minds, as long as you believe in God, that's enough common ground that they can work with. So the answer to the question is, if you have a basic, even vague, agnostic belief in a higher power, it's not going to be a big issue getting together with a Filipina. She may say that she's Catholic, but in all reality, I would say 90% of them could not articulate how Catholicism theology differs from Christianity or Mormonism or Rastafarianism. And equally, you would be hard pressed to find a Catholic or for that matter, American Christian who claims to be such and has actually read the Bible front to back at least one time and retains what they read. So bottom line, it's not going to be a problem. The only time you're going to run into an issue is as an atheist, if constantly your conversation is insulting to her tradition and her belief, it's not going to go well. Unless you happen to find a Filipina who just really doesn't care about any religion, who is basically a borderline atheist herself. But if you have any kind of belief in a higher power, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be totally okay, totally cohesive with the Filipina. Now, we could get into another conversation of whether it's really all that a good an idea to be unequally yoked with somebody that does not share your beliefs, but we won't get into that. As far as the practicality of it, it won't be a problem.